Yo, what's going down, Commander? Uh, with CC19, I believe it is, round the corner. Um, I want to give you a rough idea. This isn't how exactly how it's going to go down or how I'm going to do it. But I just want to give you an idea of where you want to be and where you want to go. So it's a no-brainer. It's CC first, 100%. Then you want to probably move on to your defense lab. Look at the, uh, the upgrade times for it. You might want to put two, maybe one or two levels on it. You can then start upgrading the stuff with inside the defense lab. After that, you want to move on to, to buildings that will give you a uh, reduction in repair time. Uh, you can level up the units to max level the newest units that come out. The, the, the buildings that restrict you. So basically, after CC and a couple of levels on your defense lab, you probably want to go with the academy, air hangar, or the tech center. Take a look at what the latest units that are coming out when you do these and, and work out which ones you can do the building you can do that's less going to restrict you less from upgrading the units that come out. So if we've got a lot of air coming into the game, for instance, you, you, you want to miss that one and just upgrade your air and then do the tech center. If there's a lot of uh, tanks in the game, do the opposite, what, either the academy or aircraft over the tech center. Um, from the, these three, so we're going CC, Couple of levels on the defense lab so you can start upgrading things with inside there. Then you want to go with one of these three in no particular order, guys. Academy, airfield, air hangar, sorry, tech center. From there, you want to move on to the buildings that will also decrease repair time and uh, decrease build time of units. Are generally, the barracks, war factory, and airfield. These are your key buildings in, within the game, the, the ones that I've just pointed out. So, CC, defense lab, academy. Aircraft hangar, tech center, barracks, war factory, airfield. They're your key. They're, they're the ones that you need to get. Some of these, that sometimes kicks, I put these levels on these things and it restricts what level you can take a new unit to. to. So keep an eye on them. If they, are, if they do restrict them, then, then they're the ones you want to go to as soon as you can, basically. Um, from there, you probably want to move on to buildings that will give you a buff or something within the base that will give you something great. I would probably say the weapons lab's probably going to get another level on it, and that will probably bring the level three backup, tactical backup bastion. That means that it will produce in your base when you're being attacked, it will probably produce not the latest units. I'm, I wouldn't go as far as the latest units. I would say it's probably going to bring sort of like this position, Boomer, Crucica, and Akumas as a spawning unit into your base. And in the infantry, I would probably say it's going to, it's, if it does get another level, hang on, let me fucking get that. If it does get another level, it's going to be Hyperion, Commandant, and Janissary that spawn into your base. And with the aircrafts, it will be... I think they spawn them already, so it's going to be these. If they, but that's the latest. I'm not sure about the airfield, uh, the, the tactical bastion for the airfield, because these are the latest three air units. Uh, an educated guess would say most likely, but it's the latest unit, so maybe not. I'm just trying to make sense of it myself as well while I'm going through this. Um, so it'd probably be your weapons lab after the the main, the core buildings. The weapons lab for your tactical bastion. After that, obviously, you can move on to your other your other units. Oh, by the way, guys, if they do put levels on the go go bar, that'll probably be your third building. So you go CC, couple of levels on that, and then go straight to your go go bar because that's the, the go go bar. Let me see if I can open it. It adds a a buff to your units with inside the base. So. Level 22 go go bar gets a 48% damage uh, defender damage plus 50% faster uh, defender repair. So if they do put levels on go go, I don't think we've seen any levels on the go go bar for a couple of CCs. But if they do, this would be your third building to do, and then you'd move on to the academy, tech center, and uh, your airfield or air hangar, and then from there you would go on from to barracks, war factory airfield then the weapons lab it's it's very confusing and i've got a feeling kicks are going to throw a shit ton at us an absolute shit ton um 
after you've done the core buildings, then you can move on to improving your base. So then it would probably be your um, your bunkers, towers, whatever you've got, the uh, what are they called, strongholds, that sort of place. If they put any levels on the rocket silos, keep an eye on them. You probably want to go for them after that, after your uh, watchtowers. These are pretty, pretty much very easy to kill right now. So if they add a decent armor onto them, keep an eye on them ones. Uh, after that, it's just a basic bog standard buildings. You go for whatever you want after that, I would say. It'd probably be your turret. So if they bring out any more Gen 2 turrets, either that be the, the small turrets or the heavies, look at them and see whether you can put any more Gen, Gen 2s on. Uh, from there, you want, again, you probably want to go back to your defense lab. But you, you probably do, what you do with your defense lab is you upgrade it a couple of levels. You get start putting levels on the new turrets within the game, whatever they give new levels to. From, and then you stop that, and then you'll upgrade one of your core buildings, which will give you either access to level 20 units, or a repair reduction, or a build reduction, etc, etc. But you always keep keep going back to your defense lab in between. So once your defense lab, you've got the, the, the turrets you want to get to the top level that you can at the time, you go back to your defense lab. I hope this is making sense, guys, because I'm trying to make sense of it myself in my head as well. But yeah, you just got to keep an eye on the defense lab. You don't want that being idle. So every time that you get your turrets that you want to get to a max level, or the, the, the top level that you can at the time, you want to go back to the defense lab and do a couple of levels on that again, and then go back to the core buildings. As I say, there is there is a few core buildings within the game, and I will repeat this because the core buildings are very important to being able to get le um, max levels on units and things like that. So the core buildings for me would be CC, Defense Lab, Aircraft Hangar, Academy, Tech Center. They would be the core. They're the ones you want to make sure you get to the top level as soon as you possibly can. I don't, I don't call me building, so everything I do is, is with time, which would be what a lot of people do, but there will be people out there that will just coin everything. Um, so be prepared to uh, face a battle with some tough bases coming up over the next few months. But that one only lasts to a point. Now that we've got the uh, Sector Breach, the units that get produced from that Sector Breach are just unbelievably good. So eventually it will it sort of level itself out a little bit. But yeah, I, I, there's not really much more I can tell you. Again, air silos, I wouldn't put them as, as important because they're so easy to kill. They're one-shot kills. Um, I'm hoping they, I'm hoping Kicks, I put the bracing turrets, a few more levels on the bracing turrets. I think we're going to get more levels on the uh, Gen 2 platforms, either that be the small platforms or heavy platforms. As you can see, my, my Gen 2, where was one? That one's max, but the other one isn't. I'm level one on it but it's only because uh, i'm trying to do the core buildings or it's got to the point where i'm literally upgrading nothing now because i'm getting ready for the cc19 i hope this has made a little bit of sense guys please if you've got any information or if you if i've i've missed something out that may be key throw it in the uh comment section below so everyone can get a, an idea i will try once we get the information that we need what buildings are getting what levels and what blah 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 I'll probably do an update to this video, to be fair. And, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll run through how my brain's going to upgrade each building and the reasons why best I can. But I'm only throwing this out for now to try to get it that you you got to think of the core buildings. Don't worry about your base for the first couple of months. Worry about the core buildings, which there's probably six, You're not including your CC. And this is no order, though, guys. The only one I'd go first after the CC is Defence Lab, a couple of levels. And then it, it'd be in no order the others. So it'd be aircraft hangar, academy, tech center, airfield, barracks, and war factory. And that's in no order, guys. I will that will change as I realise what sort of buffs they give. What if they give a reduction in repair, or I need it to this level to be able to build the or, or gain the max level on units, things like that. It's uh the CC is a hard one to uh, judge because it's it's so. Cloak and dagger with kicks. Either. They've not thrown out any information whatsoever. I think someone posted a floating CC. To me, that sounds dumb, but it is what it is. Anyway, again, please, if you've got any information you want to add to this, please put it in the uh, comment section below so we can all discuss. 
it is one of them things where it's some people do it different to how I do. That's just the way it is. Anyway, guys, take care. I'll see you soon. Hopefully, this video has helped you a little bit. Bye-bye.